I am JC from Craft Life and I'm here today to teach you how to make a felt pinwheel and you can put a clip or a pin on the back of it and you can also clip these onto your hair or a purse or even a backpack but you can pretty much clip these onto anything that you want to put a pinwheel on and these are great for the summer. The supplies you'll need to make these are two pieces of different colored felt, scissors, a ruler, a pencil for the glue gun so that you do not get burned, and if you want you can use a clip or a pin, and also if you want you can use a button. And finally, you will need a glue gun. So please get your supplies and we'll begin. To begin, you are going to lay your two pieces of felt on top of each other and make sure they are lined up. Now you're going to use your ruler and measure out three inches on one side. You're then going to take your scissors and cut. You're just going to make a straight line. Then you're going to turn it and we're going to cut it at three inches on this side. We just cut a square that is three inches by three inches. And now if you will be adding a clip to the back of your pinwheel, you will need to cut a rectangle out that is one inch by half an inch. And you will only need one piece of felt for this, so I'm going to take my purple felt. This is the felt I'm going to use as the back of my pinwheel. So I'm going to cut a rectangle out with this color. So I'm going to cut at the one inch and then at the half an inch. Now you have a rectangle that is a half an inch by an inch. And all of your felt is cut, so now we can begin making our pinwheel. You are going to choose which side you want as the front of your pinwheel. I am choosing green. And now we're going to have to cut in on each corner. And you are going to cut in about an inch and three quarters into the middle. So I'm going to do that for each corner. All you have to do is start at the corner and cut in to the center. Now it's an inch and three quarters and if you can't eye it, you can always leave your ruler there and cut it as you measure it. Now you're going to do this for each corner. Now you're going to take your glue gun and you're going to make a dot right in the center of your pinwheel. So right here. And put a good amount of glue so that your felt will stay down. And you're going to grab from either corner at the top. I'm just going to choose this corner. It doesn't matter. And you're going to fold it down. Now you're going to take your pencil and use it to hold it down. As you can see, the top layer didn't stay down. So now what I like to do is I take my glue gun, put some glue at the top, and then fold it over. And then it will glue down like this. Once again, you can use your pencil to hold this down. Now we're going to turn it in a counterclockwise rotation. And since I took from this corner, I'm going to take from that corner again. So each time you're going to take from the same corner. So I'm going to fold it down like that, but I'm going to need to place glue down. So put some glue in the center again. Now I'm going to fold this corner in. Once again, the top part will not stay down. Now I'm going to take my glue and put some at the top of my top layer and fold this over. Now you're going to turn it again, lay some glue down. You're going to take from the same corner again, fold it over. As you can see, the top layer didn't stay down. So we're going to put some more glue at the top of it and fold it over. Now hold this down. Now I'm going to turn it again, put some more glue in the center. We're going to take from the same corner and push it down. 
the top part will not stay down once again. Put some more glue at the top of it. Now I'm going to take more glue and go all the way around. Put a lot of glue down. And I'm going to gently place my button down. And push it down. Now I'm going to turn my pinwheel over. I'm going to place glue at the top of my clip. You can also line your clip if you like, but I'm not using a lined clip. And now I'm going to turn it over and place it down on my pinwheel. Now we're going to place our small rectangle down inside our clip so that it is secure. So you're going to open up your clip and put some glue down right in the center. Then you're going to take your rectangle, slide it in right above where you placed your glue, and then you can close your clip. Now you can take your glue gun, place some more glue on this side, and push it down. And then do the same thing on the other side to make sure that your rectangle stays down. Now you are finished with your pinwheel. This is what it looks like when it's done and on. This is just another example. You can clip them onto purses, backpacks, headbands, or pretty much anything you want. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you liked it, please give it a big thumbs up. And if you make some, I'd love to see them. My Instagram is CraftLifeUSA, so please tag me in a photo. And please don't forget to like us on Facebook, pin it on Pinterest, and subscribe right here on YouTube. I hope you're living a craft life just like me. Thanks so much for watching. Bye!